and Morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Larry Levine served 10 years in federal prison. He now is a consultant for white-collar criminals preparing to go behind bars. Larry, this is so interesting. I mean, who knew this was a, a big industry, you know, be consulting? What do you um, sort of fill people in on as they get ready to go to uh, prison? Well, I do damage control. Once you, the judge slams down the gavel and sentence to you, your lawyer has no idea what's going to happen. So I prepare people for going into custody. I teach them everything they need to know from the time they go in until they get out. And if they get into a jam while they're on the inside, their families can get a hold of me and we can straighten things out. Now, in Madoff's case, he doesn't have an out date. What, 150 years from now? So he really has nothing to look forward to. I see them possibly putting him on suicide watch and or protective custody because people are going to want to get to him. You know, on a lighter side, he will get about 19 and a half years off on good time. They will give him that even though it'll never apply. So, yeah, so the and, interesting thing is, in, in one way, you're saying that, you, you know, having that hope that perhaps there's an appeal or perhaps you can get out or perhaps, you know, if you well, are, are, do I, well, he doesn't have that, you're saying? Well, okay, you have to approve, you have to prove that the judge abused his discretion by sentencing him to 150 years. Well, Madoff's off the charts as far as the dollar loss in the right. U.S. sentencing guidelines. They could have given him 200 years, although it wouldn't really make a difference. And the judge had the latitude to do that. So an appeal really is going to go nowhere. All right. So, I mean, so you've we'll, got this. I got you. So let's put go that ahead. off to the side for a second. I want to ask you, what's daily life going to be like uh, for Bernard Madoff as he gets well, ready uh, to, to serve his time in a federal penitentiary? Well, he was in a detention center. MCC's there just to serve the court. He does, he's had a, a little taste of custody. But now he's going to be living in a cell, which is going to be his permanent home. And this man who lived in a penthouse for years is going to be living basically out of a two foot by four foot wall locker. That's where all his personal items are going to be stored. And he's going to be subject to being counted several times a day, possibly strip searched. He's not going to have any privacy. And he's probably going to be terrified for his life because people are going to want to get to him. All right. It's well, not necessarily. Right. Well, Go let ahead. me just ask you about that. Is it different? I mean, is he going to be among hardened criminals, uh, quote unquote? Well, yeah. Or is he going to be serving with other people who committed nonviolent crimes, you know, okay. uh, using the term I did a custody, white collar? I did a custody classification score on him using the Bureau of Prisons BP 337 and 338. He really should be in a camp. He really should be in minimum custody. But the problem is, is that, again, the dollar loss. Because of his dollar loss, they're putting a management variable on him. He's going to go to a medium. And he's going to come in contact with people that are bank robbers, killers, rapists, gang members. He's going to be in an extremely dangerous environment. And he's going to be serving time with other people that have life sentences. And those people, they don't have an outdate either. So... If things jump off, they're not going to hesitate to do something to Bernie. They don't care. What can you possibly do to somebody who's serving life that's not getting out anyway? Nothing. No, they would put him in the same prison as rapists, killers, and others. It's who have the no custody hope. level. It's so a medium is, custody. But, but the, Absolutely. Rapists and killers are in the medium security. Well, they work their way down. Absolutely. They go from, let's say, a United States penitentiary, which is a high. To medium custody. Yeah. I saw them when I was in the medium in Phoenix. You have people serving live sentences there. I had two cellmates. One of them, uh, he robbed an armored car up in Washington. I think it was in the late 80s and killed one of the armored car guards. So, yeah, these are dangerous people. And you got a lot of racists there, white power Aryan brotherhood in these institutions. And Bernie being Jewish, well, I'm Jewish myself, but Bernie's not going to be real popular. And He's let not going to have any friends. And let me ask you this. Uh, what were you in there for? Narcotics trafficking, securities fraud, racketeering, obstruction of justice, and machine guns. My whole case was organized crime. And uh, how busy are you as a consultant for people prepping to go? My phone rings off the hook. Everybody has a problem. Everyone has a question. Some people I can help. Some people I can't. Now, I had... Madoff's reps get a hold of me before he went into custody, and I turned him down. I wouldn't help the guy out because I view him as an economic terrorist. 
If you rip off a bank, an insurance company, an institution, that's an acceptable crime. Bernie hurt people. He hurt people individually, and I refuse to help people like that. Let him rot in hell.